What's up, people? Welcome back for more Roco News. Today, I want to go over two things real quick. I want to go over this tweet that Scott uh, tweeted out talking about um, look out for a store in the next release. Uh, so I want to show you that. And I also want to show you a couple of skins that got leaked. So let's go ahead and let's jump right into it. So here's the tweet that Scott tweeted out seven hours ago now. Um, so he says, let me know what you think after our next release, hashtag store. So the reason this is exciting is because a lot of people have been uh, screaming for a store, right? They want something to spend their money on. They want something to spend reputation on. So it sounds like in this next release, uh, which I assume is this update that's about to drop, which has been com uh, confirmed to be September 2nd. So September 2nd, we may be getting a uh, item shop and we are also will get the uh, surrender option we'll get the trench buffs and uh, the dead zone so a couple of things are going to be happening on um the second here now this caught me a little bit off guard uh, the item shop that is because you remember there was a 2020 roadmap and if you look on there it doesn't say anything about a item shop technically especially not this early um because if it goes by what scott is saying that means in phase one technically we would have a store so I thought that was interesting because as you see here, phase three is when we're supposed to get the battle pass. So that's when I assume that a store would be dropping because that would make sense. So um, very big jump if that does happen. Uh, I think this will be good for the player base because it will give people maybe something that they feel like they can grind for, especially if you have stuff in the stars, you can borrow a reputation. So we'll see what this looks like. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the skins that um, were leaked here. So the first skin here we have is going to be a Lancer skin. Now, I kind of like this one. It's nothing super fancy, but I do like the colors. It's, de it's very different than her uh, regular skin, right? Kind of looks like a, a marathon runner's outfit, like she's uh, been sponsored because you see a couple of logos and stuff on there. Um, I think that's interesting. And it kind of plays into her lore, right? She's supposed to be like this runner slash uh, social media star. So it makes sense that she's kind of been sponsored by whoever this is, right? That she has this whole outfit going on. Um, so I like that. Uh, again, I, and we'll probably talk about this at the end, but I wonder about how you can buy this skin right here. Because is this a skin that you would drop money on? Or is this a skin that you would probably drop reputation on? And that's the thing that I'm curious about. How willing are people going to be to spend money on a skin like this? But in any case, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one here, which is going to be a Scorch skin. This is going to be one of two. I have one more to show you. This one right here doesn't look too crazy, right? It's, it's very similar to her original skin, maybe a couple of extra straps or something. I can't even tell, but it doesn't look anything crazy. This would be definitely like a reputation skin. I'm not sure I would spend, I don't know, two bucks. You know, I don't, I don't think I would spend big money on a skin like this, but if this is like a battle pass skin or a reputation skin, I'd definitely pick it up, you know, not bad. And they also made a note here to say that the, the hair will be different. So I want to see what that looks like. Hopefully she has a skin where like her hair is actually on fire. I think that'd be dope. Uh, let's look at the other one. It's a little, this, the second one's a little more in depth and it looked like they went into a little more detail. Uh, let's see if you like this one. So this one right here is unfinished but you can tell that they are at least changing the way that scorch looks so you can tell that she has like this cyborg robotic look and she's gonna have like some type of crown on her head and i like this one more than that other one simply because it looks very different than a regular scorch right i would be curious to see what this looks like fully done though because apparently this isn't the finished product i would have been somewhat satisfied with this if they would have like obviously dropped the crown down and then like flesh this skin out a little bit because that that doesn't look terrible right that that's, that's very different than a normal squirt skin so i kind of like that um hopefully they have more skins like this that like completely revamp or change the way a character looks kind of like how the the dima skin puts like the wolf mask and the suit on and you don't even know that it's him anymore really so i like this um i'm i'm gonna be curious to see what they what they do with it final because apparently this isn't finished so i'm curious to know what that's gonna look like uh, next up here, we have a trench skin. Let's go ahead and look at this. This trench skin is interesting because it looks very casual. This is like a dude you see in like the Portland mall. You know what I'm saying? Like it looks very, very <laughs> domestic. I don't know. It's just, it's just, I don't know. I kind of like it though, right? Like he's an undercover copper. So my man's got on jeans, some combat boots, a freaking uh, aviator jacket. Like, I don't know. It's, it's cool. I like it. And with the, the rework that's coming for Trench, you know, his, what you what I would call a buff in a way, I think that this skin, especially if it's not like uh, 
the, the price isn't gouged out, right? I think a lot of people will probably buy this skin, especially those those trench mains or people who are gonna find trench actually useful now. So perfect timing to give trench uh, some some skins and whatnot, because I think it's gonna work out for him pretty well. Um, now the last one we have here is gonna be a Dallas skin, and I think this one is interesting. Let's take a look. Now, the thing about this skin is that it looks pretty cool. Like I like the, the, the dark colors. I like that red, that black, but it's just basically a darker version of his main skin, like his standard skin. So I hope they come out with some skins that are gonna do Dallas justice, right? Because Dallas is probably one of the more popular characters in the game right now, regardless of how you feel about him, like on a tier list or how good he is. Um, I think it's arguable, he's arguably one of the more popular characters in the game right now. People love Dallas. So I hope they give him some skins that really reflect that and that, um, you know, that, that give him the respect he deserves, I guess, because I'm pretty sure they make a cool skin like like the the like the demon skin, you know, the one with the wolf mask. So, like they got to give him something dope, and uh, he's probably gonna bring in big money. So a couple more things to note here that didn't deserve their own video. Um, basically, uh, bleed out timers are gonna be increased to 16 seconds. This is to try to give people incentive to actually res people, because right now they felt like it was maybe too short, and that's why people didn't feel like it was worth the risk. Um, so we'll see how that goes. More importantly, phase two is supposed to drop um, at the end of September, so maybe around like the 25th-ish or so. They didn't give a direct date, but they say at the end of September. So if you don't know, uh, that's basically like um, when Ranked is supposed to come out, when a, a new Rogue is supposed to come out. We assume that is Dahlia. Um, I did a little video on her a while back, but we're not necessarily sure of who that is. Um, and a couple more things are supposed to be coming with that as well. So for those people who are looking for when the updates are coming more solidly, uh, we definitely have about a month before we get a, a major update. So just keep that in mind. Um, that might give you some time to practice before rank comes out because, you know, a month, that's a good time to get a team together, get some uh, coordination going and all that good stuff. I was a little disappointed, though, that it was a month. I was hoping it would be sooner. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. So people, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out Roco news or live streams every day. I try to bring you some type of video about Roco Company and we're gonna keep that going, um, especially um, as we're waiting for these updates to come out. Um, if you also haven't, make sure to drop a like for your boy and let me know which one of these skins is your favorite right now out of the five that I showed you. I think for me, it's probably that, um, I don't know, it's probably that trench skin, honestly, even though it looks very civilian, I kind of mess with it. So that's probably my favorite. Let me know what yours is. And as always, is there anything that you would like to see uh, the devs do for the game? I think the next thing that I'm gonna be harping on, I'm probably gonna make a video on, is they need to fix Saints Drone. You know, and I'm happy that people in the comment section uh, and in my stream the other day were telling me about that because I thought it was just something I was doing wrong, but it is something wrong with the actual uh, drone itself. So hopefully that's something that they will fix. And, um, you know, because Saints is one of the more vital characters in the game right now, I feel like. And um, if you take away his ability to be able to heal, right? Like his drone just doesn't go out. <laughs> so if you take that away from him, it takes away a lot of the usefulness that comes with playing Saint. So hopefully we can get that fixed. Um, as I said, let me know if there's anything you wanna see because uh, the more we get our voices out there, the more we let the devs know what we need to be fixed, um, the easier it'll be for them to get that job done. So as always, people, this is Orsa Chorus. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, I appreciate you. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace, 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 peace.